Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little white cotton shirt to fit vintage strawberry shortcake dolls and a number of other dolls in this size range. But before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. Use your pattern to cut out all the pieces shown. Lay one bodice front on top of another. Keeping right sides together, that's pretty side touches the pretty side if you're using a printed fabric like this one. Sew around the neck area. Once you've finished sewing around the neck, carefully clip along the edge of this seam. Now, I'm using a pair of snipping scissors and I highly recommend that you get a pair for something so tiny like this. They're super helpful. Invert the garment front and press. So I'm inverting, just turning it right side out. Then I'm going to press this. It can be helpful to use a chopstick when you're inverting. Set one of the bodice backs on top of another. Again, if you're using a printed fabric, you want to keep those right sides together or pretty side touches the pretty side. Sew around the neck, down the back closure area, like you see here, and along the bottom of the back. Tie a knot when you finish these stitches. Follow these directions for both of your backs. Clip your seams and corners. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm clipping very carefully. It looks like I'm going fast, but it's just sped up. Really, I'm going quite, quite carefully. Invert and press both back pieces. Again, you'll see me using a chopstick and I give it a little twist to gently poke those corners out. Lay one back on top of the bodice front. Stitch where they join at the shoulder. There's a little close up so you can kind of see my stitches. Do the same for the other back piece. Now your garment should look like this. Open it up as shown and press the shoulder seams to flatten them. Turn it to the right side so it doesn't show any of your stitching and pick up one of the sleeve pieces. Along the longest straight edge of the fabric Fold once and then a second time. Whip stitch to hem this sleeve. Follow these directions for both sleeves. Lay one of your sleeves alongside the bodice and stitch the sleeve to the bodice from the underarm area to just shy of the shoulder seam about five millimeters from my seam here and I've tied a knot with my thread. Pull the sleeve around to the other underarm. That's what you see me doing here. So I'm going to pull that sleeve around to the underarm on the back piece and begin my stitches at the underarm there. Stitch again from the underarm to just shy of the shoulder seam. There will be a tiny gap between the sleeve and the bodice. If there's enough sleeve to do so, run a gather stitch at the top 
of the sleeve until the sleeve and the bodice shoulder match in length. Then stitch the sleeve to the bodice shoulder. My gathers are pink and my stitches are blue here so that you can kind of see the difference. Now your garment will look like this on the right side and like this on the wrong side. Attach the other sleeve just like you did the first one. Flip the garment over to the right side. Fold one sleeve in half like this and stitch from the sleeve's hem through the underarm area and tie a knot seven millimeters from the bottom of the back. You don't want to finish this side seam just yet. It seems like you should, but don't. Do the same with the other side, folding it down and stitching from the sleeves hem to part way down the side. Turn your bodice upside down like this and insert the raw edges of the bodice front in between the two bodice front pieces. It's important to make sure that your front will match the length of the back pieces. So that's a lot to think about. Let's have a look at what I'm doing. So I turn it upside down like this and then I open up the front like so. Then I turn in those raw edges toward one another and it forms almost a little mouth there. Think of it like two lips folding together. And then you want to kind of double check and see is it the same length as the back? If not, maybe pull it down a little bit. It can be tricky with such a tiny garment. There we go. That looks pretty good. Whip stitch along the bottom of this bodice front. So what you're doing is sealing that shut. Now you're ready to finish sewing the side seams. Here's a closer look at those final side seams. Invert the garment. It is so cute. Look how tiny that is. Sew a couple of snaps in the back. Now you're ready to try the shirt on your doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for making doll clothes for dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelley Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.